So the latest generation Prime series might actually be new for many of our AMD enthusiasts from previous generations, and that's because it replaces a very successful and very well-known M5A series, or M series in general. Uh, these boards were extremely well received in the community. They were known for their uh, very, very good reliability and durability across a wide number of years, and their consistent overclocking performance and overall just great experience when it came to AMD enabled builds. Uh, but in a recent transition, we've decided to go ahead and now name our core mainstream series of motherboards the Prime Series. So, still at its heart though, these boards are purpose-built for giving you an amazing foundation that regardless of whether you're doing a gaming build, advanced productivity, content creation, it doesn't matter what you're looking for, it's going to be an awesome series board and it's going to offer a great set of features and functions. So in terms of the design aesthetic for this Prime series, uh, it's very similar to what we've done now on, uh, for a couple of generations on our Intel series of motherboards, um, where it offers a white monochromatic color scheme. So this works really well for the latest generation of chassis and a lot of the white components that are out there on the marketplace, including our dual series graphics cards, which you can also get in RX versions. So if you're looking to be able to have a paired AMD graphics card and AMD motherboard experience, they look fantastic together. Um, on top of that, we're still also maintaining uh, the ASUS Aura Sync RGB initiative. So this mother board does still also feature the ability to have synchronized RGB lighting, whether it's with LED strips, with memory, with chassis which feature integrated lighting, or even our external peripherals like keyboards and mice, so that if you want to be able to fully synchronize everything across the board, uh, whether you just want to go for a subtle ambient feel or you really want to have a, a specific stylized aesthetic or a contrast aesthetic, you can have a really awesome looking system. So Prime Series really is the best representation of an ASUS series motherboard. It's going to bring together what we refer to as our non-negotiables, so aspects of innovation, performance, reliability, uh, quality. You're really going to get all the key aspects in terms of specifications and features, um, but at a bit more of aggressive price point than you would have compared to, let's say, the RG series, which has really been tailored specifically for overclockers and for hardcore gaming enthusiasts. So just like our high-end Crosshair series motherboard, uh, the uh, Prime Dash A SKU will offer offer you the capability to overclock every single one of AMD's unlocked CPUs. So it uh, doesn't matter in terms of what CPU you drop in it, as well as the different type of DDR4 in there, you're going to get a great, stable, reliable overclocking experience. And actually, just like our high-end um, ROG series motherboard, you're still going to have the same manual capability. So if you want to get in the nitty and gritty, dive into the UEFI and be able to uh, tweak and tune all the parameters for VRM operation, for voltages, for multipliers, and all those aspects, you can do that. But you can also fully leverage our one-touch overclocking technology so that at the touch of a button, you can target CPU frequency, temperature, uh, voltage, you can set how long you want stress tests to occur, and so many other parameters. And the most important thing is that it's specific to your CPU, to your cooling solution, even your power supply, so that you can really maximize the investment you've made in this great unlocked Ryzen CPU and whatever your cooling solution and the rest of the other components are. With it being an ASUS board in general, it has an improved focus when it comes to networking and in audio design. So we have a high quality a gigabit ethernet on here with our Turbo LAN packet priority software. Um, that can also be mapped to an actual a USB or PCIe wireless adapter. So if you want to be able to go ahead and get um, you know, your packet priority for those different types of connections, that's entirely available to you. And it's not just game dependent. If you want to be able to prioritize you know, your downloading, your streaming, whatever network centric service it is, you can do that. Uh, when it comes to audio, we have our full isolated audio design, which was originally pioneered on ROG series motherboards. Um, and it really kind of set the trend for audio design on motherboards. And that's present here, along with things like audio grade capacitors and operational amplifier. Um, so you can really get a great audio experience, whether it's going to be in music, movies, or games. One of the most interesting things about, I think, what AMD is enabling with this latest, gen latest generation Ryzen series CPUs, as well as what our Prime series are really targeted towards, is to be able to give flexibility to all types of users out there. So while this makes a great uh, foundation for a gaming board, we equally want this board to be able to work well for content creators, uh, prosumers, professionals, whether they're doing audio editing, video editing, uh, 3D modeling, advanced productivity, uh, science, scientific computation. It doesn't really matter. You're going to have a great foundation that's going to be reliable, uh, durable, and give you a lot of tuning parameters to be able to make sure that you get the best experience in any one of those scenarios. For those that are looking to kind of create a, a parity perspective uh, in relation to, let's say, like our uh, Z270-A, uh, the X370-A pretty much is going to offer the same level of key uh, specification support. So whether you're looking for things like USB 3.0, 3.1, M.2 with NVMe support, um, by 16 PCIe slot support, uh, PCI Gen 3 support, um, SATA 6G, 
all those key specifications are going to be present. Uh, even some of our key innovations like a new front USB 3.1 header are present on this board. So you're going to really get all the key specifications you really could ask for. So whether you want to use uh, the latest generation 10 series uh, graphics cards from NVIDIA or you want to use the latest generation RX uh, series graphics cards from AMD, both of them are fully compatible with this motherboard. And uh, also you have a lot of flexibility whether you want to use cards like our dual series which are white which perfectly match here or you want to be able to take advantage of some of the really cool uh, features and functions and better thermal performance and overclocking capabilities on our strict series graphics cards those are fully compatible as well So one of the most impressive things that you're going to have on the Dash A board, especially at this price point, is going to be the level of fan control functionality that it offers. Uh, many users kind of don't necessarily think about what's the type of fan functionality that is available to me at a board that might be like in a $150 or $160 price point, but it makes a significant impact on not only the acoustics, so how your system sounds, but also on the flexibility of how you decide to cool your system. So take for instance on our boards, you're going to have the ability to have both 3-pin and 4-pin fans controlled on all the chassis fan headers. Uh, that gives you the ability to, of course, have full support for DC and PWM fans. Uh, we can fully calibrate them and profile them at the touch of a button so we can find out what their minimum speeds and their maximum speeds is. So you can go ahead and click uh, easy one touch profiles. Uh, you can easily uh, multiplex a header so that if you want to be able to run multiple fan headers, excuse me, multiple fans from one single header, you can do that by just using a cheap PWM fan splitter cable. Um, that, great, that works great really for front intake fan solutions. Um, more impressive is also the control granularity at how you can have your fans respond to different temperatures. Um, pretty much any other previous generation motherboards, you're usually looking at them all responding to just the CPU temperature. Uh, but for this board, you have the ability to map it to not just the CPU temperature, but other onboard temperature sensors that are on the motherboard, and also the graphics card. Great thing about that is that uh, Ryzen CPUs are actually running a lot cooler than previous generation CPUs, and especially with great cooling solutions, it makes more sense to have, let's say, your front intake fans respond to your graphics card temperature. You can do this and so much more within the Fan Expert software. I think it's amazing time right now to be a PC DIY enthusiast and a PC gamer or actually anybody that's interested in building a modern PC system. It doesn't matter what you're going to be using it for. The performance uh, and the feature set that the X370 uh, chipset is bringing to the table along with the series of Ryzen CPUs paired with uh, the feature set and the designs that, that we're bringing with ASUS motherboards are going to make for some absolutely awesome builds and some great experiences.